Welcome back to Techno Babylon. The Mindjacker has just escaped, so I guess it's time to figure out what to do next. Lau is already settled in at her desk. Might as well let her handle the case report. Hey, Lau. Yeah? Got any ideas where we can look next? I thought you were supposed to be the lead on this case. Hmm. We could look into that other lead. What was his name? Gil Vanderwall? Yeah, that's the one. I thought Vanderwall made it pretty clear he wasn't going to speak to us. Might just be the way you handled him. Tact is apparently not your strong point. I like to speak my mind. I'll contact him and see if he's more open to persuasion. He might cooperate if you're not there threatening him with physical injury. <sighs> he's a dyed-in-the-wolf felon. He deserves worse. But if he can help us... All right. See what you can do. Let me know if you find anything. We'll do, Regis. The screens run through all of the available data pertaining to the Mindjacker. You've already got the preferences set up how you like them. What's this thing over here? A number of cables run directly into the building's electrical and data flow systems from Lau's desk. Apparently her customized wetware gear sometimes requires tremendous resources, and she doesn't care how many of the building's technicians complain about her pulling floors open. <laughs> Trying to tidy Lau's desk for her is a battle lost before it's even fought. That's what she says. Like it was something from the art of war. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check my email, I guess. Oh, now that we have a valid connection, I can also actually check the news this time. What's this? Aww. Viksha and Charlie. Wait a minute. Why does that sound familiar? Is this some, like, in-reference thing to other Wadget Eye games, like Blackwell, or... Hmm. I'm not sure. She looks familiar, though. Check the news. Continuing a long-standing process of standardization, the Parliament of the European Federation, EF, has today ratified the uptake of metric time across the 64-member union. The measure, signed into law by EF Prime Minister Jacqueline Santini, at... well, there's the metric time, <laughs> uh, is planned to be rolled out over the course of the next four years. Under the scheme, measure of the time of day is to be divided into 10 hours, each with 100 minutes, made up of 100 seconds. Santini, whose Federalist Party had been one of the keenest supporters of the new policy, greeted the change enthusiastically. Computing and commercial time measurement has long been carried out in a metric scale with atomic timing, and the division into 24 hours has itself merely been an arbitrary convention of history. While commonly referred to as metric time, the measurement of a day into periods of 10 should more accurately be known as decimal time. Internationally, the EF's policy has gained little traction, if not outright criticism, with some leaders condemning the changes as unnatural. The Oceania Corporation's government was less emotive, issuing a statement that, though the change was one demanded by the European voter, which we will respect as a democratic institution, they made clear that the OC has no plans to adopt any similar measures. Huh. It'd be, it'd be strange to get used to that, but it does make sense. It does make sense. It'd make time a hell of a lot simpler, wouldn't it? Everything being easily divisible by ten. Let's see, let's check sports. Latest scores. Don't care. Weather. Currently dry, with light outbreaks of rain expected later this evening. Current temperature is 53 degrees Fahrenheit. Oof, that's really cold. Well, maybe not really cold, but that's pretty cold. <laughs> Keep in mind, I live in California, so this is, this is really cold to me. Yep, UV index is high, as Central said.
This looks like personal files. Centralized emergency logistics, case file, blah blah blah. Category, class 4 information larceny, with composite harm to health of individual targets, i.e. mind jacking. Yep, that's the mind jacking case. Oh, there's more. Outline. Beginning in March 2087, a string of data theft attacks have been carried out within Newton. Using a process of resonant modulation with subjects' neural wetware, the informational contents of individual victims' brain of individual victims' brain is being destructively removed, with fatal consequences to targets. Victims to date: 18 in Newton. Unknown global total. Identity of perpetrator: not known. Subject appears exceptionally skilled at infiltration, and may have inside help from larger sponsor. Action. Case specialists Regis and Lau are assigned to compile all available data on Mindjacker's activity, including investigation of latest targets, for analysis by Central. Check our email. At null. Hmm? Null at null.node. What? Your legacy. It is very important that you download and activate this package in a secure location as soon as possible. Tell no one. Lives depend on it. Hmm. I guess somebody wants to give me a hint. A tip. An informant. Also, it could simply be a virus. <laughs> but it says at null, which is very, very strange. No, a virus wouldn't be from at null. It's like somebody hacked and didn't really send this through the normal channels, but somehow just, like, placed it into my computer system. Hmm. Well, let's check that last. Dr. V. Santiago. Subject, howdy. Hey, Charlie. Why are you hugging... Um, hugging. <laughs> why are you hugging Lao so much? No, why are you hogging Lao so much? The rest of us need a wire head on cases as well. I can probably guess why you're not letting go of her. Way, but seriously, man, give the rest of us a turn. I guess her skills are in high demand. VFR surgical. Functional wetware. Dr. Regis, as per our discussion at your last checkup, you have still not opted for enhanced neuroconnective wetware. While not yet critical, please remember that your work will be increasingly difficult as support for non-wetware systems is phased out. Huh. So I guess he really is uncomfortable with the idea of, of wetware. Fulcrum Administrator. Charles Regis. Your monthly payment of 8100 for the rental of the Tier 42 Northwest Balcony Garden has been processed. Approval for continued use granted by B. Vargas, Centralized RTM, or ADM? Is that an A or an R? I guess it's an A. Thank you for your continued contribution to the city's green skyline. Aw. He likes gardens. He likes green. From Central. Continued vandalism. Dr. Regis. The optical feed from your office is no longer functional. Based on past examples of your behavior, I believe it likely to be by your own hand. While you may object to perceived surveillance, please recall that this is for your safety and that of other cell staff. Vanderwall. Oh, this is the person, uh, our, other, our other lead. <laughs> Subject, no, no, no. Dr. Regis. Apparently, my previous answer was unclear. No, I will not help you with your investigations despite your crude threats. If you continue to make baseless accusations about any supposed ties I'm alleged to have with organized crime, you shall be hearing from my lawyers. Dr. Petra Weissmull. Hi, Charlie. I'm afraid it doesn't look good regarding Baxter. Central's approved the parole. Don't take it personally. It's not like they ignored your input, but... Well... You're not exactly going to be the most objective person after what he did to you and your wife, are you? Oh. I take it that person... killed? 
Viksha, his wife. All right, let's download this attachment. Download the data packets, your traveler. You're unsure who this might be. An informant, perhaps? As much as you dislike the cloak and dagger approach they've requested, you'll take any help you can get right now. Yeah, it's gotta be an informant. All right, so it's on this thing, right? Yeah, so is this, would this not be considered a secure place to read it? I guess I'd be worried about Central getting access to it here, right? Because I'm assuming Central can access everything on these terminals. The data package attached to that message. Whoever sent it wants me to open it in a private place. Hopefully it contains something that'll help us get to the Mindjacker, but I'm still suspicious. Yeah, this is definitely not a private place, so maybe I need to go back home. One of Central's fisheye cameras. Someone has covered it in tape. <laughs> hey, Lau. Yeah? Let me know if you find anything. We'll do, Regis. Oh my. Looks like I have a lot of freedom. Let's go into every room and examine, examine every wall, every plant, every dust particle. Is that a cute robot? What is that? Is that a robot? It looks like they're like kicking it along, but I guess it's just riding alongside them. Is it an assistant? Is it a robot dog? Is it a Roomba? What is it? Locked. Dr. Santiago must be working on something he doesn't want me seeing. Oh, there it is again. Oh, I can't examine it. Dang. Though you can tolerate Dr. Santiago's opinions, it looks like Dr. Preston's the only one in the office. You'd rather avoid another sermon on the merits of centralized government. Wait, why in the hell am I going in here? This person looks like they're freaking out. They picked this guy up last night. He's got something in his wiring that might be contagious. I guess that means I'm safe, but still, poor kid. Is he infected with a virus or something? Hey kid, you alright? Hey kid, you alright? I guess that's a no. Okay, I just want to point out that this data package, the icon for this data package, looks almost exactly like a condom wrapper. Except with, like, the corners kind of cut off. But other than that, it really looks like a condom wrapper. Hm. Nothing to do there yet. Notices cascade across the board. You dislike the way they need to move all of the time, and believe that it reflects the short attention span people have in this city. Those must be really short notices if you're expected to actually be able to read them. They're, they're only on the screen for like five seconds. Oh, that's so cool! That's really cool! The art in this game is really good. Oh, I can go to my balcony, the garden balcony. Heck yeah, let's go there. Fulcrum Tower. Oh, that's beautiful. When people worry, there's always something they find to help them. Drinking, the trance, even God sometimes. Me? I've got a place I like to go to. It's helped me when I've been troubled in the past. I like that. He's like a... Kind of like a hard-boiled, you know, ass-kicking detective. Like, threatening people more than actually talking things out. Kind of a dick. Kind of not. But he also really likes plants. Really likes green and peace. Storage locker for your gardening tools. It's empty. Uh, 
I guess you don't do much gardening. In your garden? That's kind of weird. You're fortunate to have gotten a garden this high up. The view just about clears the city's forest of skyscrapers. And on a good day, the Indian Ocean is visible from your bench. You aren't in the mood for a visit to that neighborhood. Down in that part of town, it's all restaurants and corporate headquarters. Uh, I'm guessing this is dedicated to his wife. Not even having to glance for a moment, those words are etched in a memory deeper than anything else. <sighs> yep. Viksha Regis, beloved wife, friend to all that lives. She died when she was about 30... 33 about. That's young. Think of us not as engineers, but as artists. The tree's unusual constitution causes it to shed its leaves more often than a natural specimen. You diligently tend to the mess it makes as often as work allows. Not in the mood for gardening. Fair enough. It took a lot of work to make, but it was worth it. This engineered tree is the kind of memorial I think she'd appreciate. I'm not climbing that. It's sickly enough as it is. Wait, it's sickly? It doesn't look sickly. You kind of ruin the moment, Regis. I wish I could sit on the bench. Ah, well. Let's go. Alright, well, I'm supposed to open it in a private place, but maybe that is actually the cell HQ. I mean, it's certainly not the balcony. It's certainly not Animus, so... I guess so. I trust Max, but I know Central would hear everything in cell headquarters. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, should I use it on a random computer in the Animus office? That seems kind of... weird. I guess we can try it. Ugh. Still haven't cleaned up the body. You wonder when the coroners are going to get here to clean up, yeah. The body lies here, unmoved since your earlier visit to the office. Central must want someone more skilled than the corpsman. Corpsman. Corman? Corman, to handle it. Corman appears uncomfortable standing too close to the body. He'll be the kind of agent who's more tour guide than police officer. Here to reassure citizens rather than resolve crimes. This is why they leave the actual investigations to case officers like yourself and Lau. I wouldn't want to stand next to it either. Jesus. Actually, can I even take the elevator anymore? I don't have the key card. I'm guessing no. The elevator is locked. Yep. Cell officers are coming and going. Not going to get any privacy here. Wait, so am I actually supposed to go and use it at the balcony? But there's no computer there. I guess. I mean, it's certainly the only private place. I just don't get what I'm going to read. How do you open it on what? I don't have any sort of mesh net enhancements, right? So I don't have anything like in my brain I can just open it up in. There's no computer here. I, I guess... Here goes nothing. Oh! Dr. Regis. Yes? Uh... Regis? Central's still giving us a negative on the aerostat. It's like it just... vanished. 
So I thought I'd better give you a heads up. Do you mind? I was in the middle of something. How did you find me? Central told me you'd be here, at Fulcrum Tower. Also, it said, stop turning your traveler off. What a surprise. I like my privacy, though. That's why I come here. You hang around the balconies much? Take a look at the plaque. Viksha Regis, beloved... Oh, Regis, this is... I'm sorry, Charlie, I didn't know. You wouldn't have. I don't tell anyone about it. Wow. I know you've got some seriously high up strings you can pull, but I didn't think they'd ever let someone be buried up here. And how the hell can you afford somewhere like this? She isn't buried up here. She was processed, like anyone else. I see. The tree's special, though. I made it myself, from scratch. Planted and grew? No, made. It's a cross of Chrysophyllum canato and Prunus serrata. The junk DNA in every cell of it contains her entire genome. Wow. Takes a lot of looking after. But you're doing it for her. Makes it all worth it. You're right, though. This place is very expensive. Why do you think I live in a pod in the southeast barrel? I didn't know that was where you lived, either. We were married for four years. I'm sorry it couldn't last. We met in our professions. She was a genjineer as well. You didn't have kids? My previous work... Well, it left both of us infertile. We had embryos prepared through IVF, but we never got to using them. I'm really sorry. I remember reading... It was Baxter, wasn't it? Don't push it, Dr. Lau. Sorry. I think I figured out why you went off the grid to come up here tonight. You heard about Baxter, didn't you? They let a monster like that walk. They didn't parole him because they approve of what he did. He's out because he's got skills Central thought would be useful. With a governor jammed in his limbic system... Well, he won't be the same man. He can't even imagine hurting anyone again. Even if it were completely true, I know that there is absolutely no way I could forgive him. On the bright side, he'd probably be pretty mad at you, too. Well, if he could have thoughts like that anymore without falling over and puking, you put him away, and that counts for something. I know it's not exactly normal for you to open up, but if you want someone to talk to, I... Central wants us? I'm afraid so. We better get going. You coming? Just a minute. I still want to read the message. Or watch the message, I guess. I just need a moment to think, Max. A little privacy? It's why I came up here in the first place. I understand, Charlie. I'll be in the car. I'll see how long I can stall Central. Max, I... Yes? Nothing. That's all right, Charlie. I understand. I'll be in the car. I can't ask for her help in this. I'm not even sure what this is yet. You are alone, as requested? Yes. Now what is this about? 1448D-A, 1448D-B, 1448D-C, 1448D-E. Excuse me? Your stomach lurches as you recognize the image. You know them, you've seen them before, but you hadn't remembered them by number. Whoever's calling you has four embryo containers. Your own. What the hell? What about them? They were removed from the El Rassis Medical Center, originally deposited at 1615 on the 11th of November 2065. They have been fertilized by yourself and Dr. Viksha Regis. They were frozen at the earliest viable phase of growth. Three are female, and one is male. They were deposited after your fertility treatment proved- Stop! Why are you telling me this? Who are you? And what are you doing with my kid- My embryos? You are about to meet with a contact, Gil Vanderwall. In his home is an active memory module, a most unique model. You will secure it for us. Further instructions will follow. So they're holding his and his deceased wife's potential future children hostage. What the fuck? And what if I don't? That image could be a sim. 
Apparently, you need more incentive not to waste my time. Well, that wasn't very One helpful. One is gone. Three remain. Do it quickly. Your legacy is in jeopardy. A conflict brews in your mind and in your heart. Giving in to blackmail like this would be the antithesis of everything you stand for, both as an agent of the law and as a human being. On the other hand, you cannot bring yourself to risk a small part of the legacy that you've worked you've worked for so many years to maintain. To save the lives of our children? I think I can accept that. So, despite the incident at Animus, I may have some good news. We might have a break in that string of mindjackings. Vanderwall agreed to talk. I, uh, yeah. How'd you guess? He couldn't hold out forever. What did he say? Didn't want to talk over the... Lau? Central wants a word. Dr. Regis. Dr. Lau. This isn't just a social call for an update, is it, Central? Dr. Regis, lately you have spent a great deal of your time off network. It is for your safety and that of the citizens that we... Central? All points bulletin, evacuation in progress at Barber's Gate Transit Station. Case officers Regis and Lau assigned to crisis management. What's happening at the... All case data has been transferred to Dr. Lau. Your vehicle has been rerouted. Please seek an expedient resolution to the situation. Central out. Business-like as ever. Let's go see what this is about. Barbers Gate Station. So something just happened here. An emergency. Before I get to that, though, I just want to mention something. So, um, Lau was talking about how Baxter, the person that killed, that killed, uh, Vicha, I think her name was? That killed Regis' wife? How he's, he's just been released, and she also said something like he's, he won't even be able to think about hurting anyone again without, like, wanting to throw up and kill over. So it sounds like he's had something installed in his brain that pre basically prevents him from having having criminal thoughts anymore, right? That's the rehabilitation, I guess. Is literally making it basically impossible for him to do bad things again. Which, well, for one, that's a, just a really interesting kind of future technology. That's pretty neat. Um, but secondly, maybe that explains the headaches. Maybe, is that guy Baxter? I don't know if the guy that's doing the mind jacking is Baxter. That, I don't know if that would make much sense, but could that be the cause of the headaches? Something like that? Something, maybe, um, maybe he has, like he's an escaped convict or was released and he had this thing installed in him that prevents him from having violent thoughts, so when he's thinking about doing these violent things, that's why he gets headaches? Because he said he wouldn't have to live with it for long, right? Maybe he was getting it removed or something. Hmm. Anyway, alright, let's see what we're dealing with. Sir, over here! I'm Dr. Regis. This is Dr. Lau. We've been assigned as crisis management. Corpse Mandurian, 4th Network. Has it gotten any worse? Not yet, but we've not heard any words since... Hey, I'm the only one here who hasn't got wiring in his head. Central hasn't had the decency to update me. Oh, sorry, Charlie. Well, it's another one, sir. Another what? A, uh, bomber. What do you mean, another one? This is like the fourth this year I know of. Central's been doing its best to keep public awareness down. I guess it doesn't want public panic about it. Or it doesn't want people to think we haven't got it under control. So how do you know about it? I talk to people? I've got a social life, unlike someone. Central marked him when he tripped a chroma sensor. Central locked down the trains and started an evacuation. It looks like he panicked and holed up in one of them. Okay, so he's, he's still there. Anyone in danger? Any hostages? Central's not mentioned any in the case file. That either means there aren't any... Or it doesn't consider them sufficiently important. Probably wants the transit running again more than it cares about human life. Sounds like he was surprised. Didn't have time to take any. He's not thinking in terms of hostages. He was made as a weapon. Regis? He's a biobomber. 
The explosives are made of, they are, his bones. That's how he tripped a DNA sensor. What's your take on it, Dr. Lau? Honestly, it's looking pretty lousy for him. Doesn't look like he's got any human shields. I doubt an empty transit station was his intended target either. Very astute. Charlie, we, uh, you're not gonna like this. Central's just bumped the priority. It wants the suspect neutralized. What? Neutralized is a vague term. I'm gonna try to talk him down. Regis? It sounds like he's hesitating. I may be able to exploit that, but just in case, get to high ground. Fine. You probably know what you're doing. The signal is hope. Don't fire until you hear me say it. Hope. Got it. Keep the public away, and run one more check for bystanders in the station. We can't afford casualties if this goes wrong. Will Central approve of this? We don't have time to wait and find out. Wish me luck. Hello? Here we go. Who's there? I just want to talk. I'm unarmed, and I'm opening the doors. What do you want, heathen? The sight is distressingly familiar. The brace, the weakened bones, the signs of tampering, and a young man that brings back memories long buried. It seems that the best hope would be to leverage what you know about him. Try to find some common ground. Alright, let's try to get to know him. You sound like you're from America. Am I right? Texas, I'd guess. Yes, you're right. I thought so. I grew up there myself, near Fort Worth. What part do you hail from? H Houston. I can remember what it's like out there. It's part of why I came here in the first place. I'm Dr. Regis, by the way. Some folk call me Charlie. Thomas Beckett. Like the saint. Nice to meet you all, Thomas. <laughs> I thought Regis was bad at talking to people. He's doing a pretty damn good job. So, how do you like the city? It's a wretched den of sin, like Sodom or Gomorrah. Well, it's not my favorite, but I wouldn't go that far. I take it you're not here as a tourist. I'm here to do my duty and strike a blow for the Lord. Really? We're a long way out from the war here. Whole other continent, in fact. I... yes, I know. But now I'm surrounded, and I must make use of what I have. The fire within me! How's the scoliosis? I... what? And the osteoporosis, the rickets, and the diabetes. How do you... It's a common side effect of sloppy prenatal genetic engineering. That, and having your body lay explosive nitrates in your bones instead of calcium. It's a test of our faith. Only the truly worthy who can... It shows just how little the Gengineers who made you cared about your health. They made you to walk and to carry a bomb in your bones. The fact that you're a living, feeling, thinking human was merely an inconvenience. Regis, I'm in position. Visibility good, zero crosswind. Standing by. There have been times when I've lost faith, but I can't let this be one of them. Alright, so I can always say hope. Have her pull the trigger. I used to work with guys like you a whole lifetime ago. The Lord's Warriors? Something like that. Kids who'd been altered, weaponized youth. You've grown up with so many health problems, groomed since birth for a noble sacrifice. But this, does this seem like the glorious role you were promised? It is my duty to God to sacrifice myself. In an empty transit station, thanks to a piece of bad luck? This wasn't where I was supposed to go. But even the original target, it doesn't seem to fit with God's plan. But if I agreed to go with you, I'd have failed in my duty. I'd just be a prisoner in a strange land. For the Lord hears the needy and does not despise his own people who are prisoners. Psalm 69, verse 33. You're right. Wherever I am, I'm always in the Lord's sight. There are more ways to do his work than destruction. We can help you find it. We can probably even fix your bones. All right. 
I shall not resist. Thomas, you've made a wise choice. More importantly, you've made it for yourself. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. Corpsman, the suspect has surrendered. Take him into custody. Carefully. Yes, Doctor. Regis, that was amazing! Central's going to be pissed, though. That was a huge risk. Screw Central. Come on. We've got work to do. The corpsman can handle it here. Yeah, with a little help from the bomb squad. So, Vanderwall finally agreed to cooperate? Yep. Said he could give us a head start on the Mindjacker. We'd better not keep the man waiting, then. Alright, here to talk to our next lead and probably, I guess, steal the, what was it, the memory module that the person's blackmailing me for? I wonder if I'll actually have a uh, choice in whether I steal it or not. You know, is it part of the story and I just have to, or is it actually an option to not steal it? I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I think this makes a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.